Back here in Toronto, whether you rent a condo, apartment, or a house, chances are you can expect to pay more. Rental rates have been rising by some accounts by as much as almost 25 percent, and it's once again putting the issue of housing affordability in the spotlight. Our Sean Leithong joins us live with those details. Sean. Well, Michelle and Nathan, it's becoming about even more than affordability. I spoke to one woman today when she had to rent. She was actually pushed out of her neighborhood because of affordability. But then when she started to find other houses she wanted to rent, landlords wouldn't rent to her. When Kirsten Helps' landlord put her home up for sale last fall, the single mother of three was pushed into a difficult rental market. So about five houses said no because I'm single. And like three said no because I have kids. Helps has good credit and full-time employment still. And so come October, I was homeless and my kids and I were living in a hotel because no one would rent to me. Just now settling into a bungalow in Etobicoke, she's had to leave her neighborhood and her kids will change schools just to afford a place to live. While discriminatory rental practices are illegal, Real estate agent Joel Keitner says his clients are facing it constantly. Some landlords are trying to use their position of power right now because they know that they're in the driver's seat. He says the power imbalance is because rental demand is skyrocketing, creating more competition and sky-high prices. For example, a 500-square-foot, one-bedroom condo last year at this time would have gone for 1900 to 2100 That same unit right now would be 24 to 2600 According to a report from Rentals.ca, the average rent for a one-bedroom in Toronto is now over $2,500 a month, up 23% from last year. For a two-bedroom, over $3,300 a month, up 20.7% from last year. The main driver? Rising interest rates. With much higher interest rates today versus what we saw at the beginning of this year, um, you're also seeing more people that otherwise would have been pointed at the ownership market um, looking at rental instead. Jason Mercer with the Toronto Region Real Estate Board says that rental units are facing the same housing shortages as resale supply, and without more supply, they predict more increases. For Kirsten Helps, she's happy to have found a home, but says the process has left scars. My agent said it was illegal for them to judge people who are applying for houses, but all of them did. And in speaking with the Toronto Region Real Estate Board, they expect that the fact that interest rates are going to keep going up would mean that there'll be more situations like the one we've just seen.